Hey, what's going on YouTube world? Okay, so let me switch this around. Oh, maybe it won't switch around. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it going. This is Gene Tux. Welcome to my channel. You can feel free to like, subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, hey, it's cool too. I'm just having fun with this thing. But I received something in the mail today, uh, Aventone mics. Uh, I've been eyeing these mics for a while. Uh, it's not my first time hearing about them or actually hearing them. I knew when I heard them years ago, those are the mics that I wanted to go with when I was gonna upgrade. And they are absolutely beautiful. They sound amazing. Um, I'm a fan of Sennheiser. Uh, I have some Sennheiser mics. I'm also a fan of Audix. I mean, everybody makes these mics. But these mics uh, really impressed me because of the price point, which is lower than the other uh, brands that I just mentioned. And, you know, other ones, Sure, whatnot. These mics are great mics. And I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how I have it set up. Um, and then I'll probably come back and do a sound test. And they match my beautiful interface here to focus right. This is the second gen. Uh, I don't see a need to upgrade, but I am curious about the third generation. But anyway, back to the point. Uh, I have my Aventon mic set up. The snare mic, I'm trying something different. It's unplugged now, but I have that on the hi-hat. Uh, of course, the overhead. I have Shure SM57s on the snares, the main and here. Those are plugged. I mean, I'm just kind of getting everything dialed in. Then the Tom mics, of course. Now, if you notice, these mics come with shock mounts. Um, and I want to try something different because I just, I'm always thinking of trying something different. If you notice, my shock mounts for my mics are only on the overheads and the mic, the kick mic. Well, I got the Solomon sub too. Now, the reason I did that is because I'm a big fan of the Audix mic clips. I mean, they just, they are perfect. And I found um, the shock mounts to be a little big and intrusive um, on these drums, I play smaller drums. I play, play a 10, 12, 14, 20 inch kick. With me taking the shock mounts off, they fit perfectly in the Audix mic clip. No stretch or nothing, I mean, just snug. Even on this other small clip, it just fits in great. Now I did a sound test earlier and no vibration, nothing. The quality of these mics, the build, is second to none. So, you know, for anybody out there who's curious about these mics, and I say go for it. And don't be afraid to try different things, different setups, like I've done here. You know, I'm sure Aventone, Aventone wouldn't like the fact that I <laughs> didn't use their shock mounts, but who cares? If you're getting great sound, uh, go for it. You know, uh, absolutely go for it. And it sounds amazing. So I just wanted to come in and um, share that with you guys. And I'll be back with some more videos in reference to these mics, uh, these drums that I play, the cymbals that I play. Everything I play is kind of on a different side, except Yamaha. Yamaha is a household name. Um, but I use some different type gear. I use mine on drumsticks. You know, I use Wuhan cymbals. Big fan of Wuhan cymbals. Uh, if you don't know, you don't know. But I suggest you get to know. Uh, but that's it. You know, signing off. Gene Tux. You know, share, like, subscribe. You know, let's talk. Let's have conversation. Healthy, positive conversation. And uh, I'll be back. Peace.